Yes, mate. So it's a day off today. Thought we'd head uptown, go check out some things, go play in a few arcades, and the weather's looking great. It is bloody freezing and there's no buses here. Oh my god. So it's still freezing, it's stopped raining just for a little bit, but we are up in London. We're up right by the river, down by the London Eye. And we're gonna hit up the Namco Fun Arcade. Hey, yes guys, I'm down with Dean at the Namco Arcade. We're having some fun today, eh? Yeah, man, it's good. How are you feeling saving the world from the alien invasion? It's amazing. It's actually exhausting to play. It's really exhausting on the on the fingers and the wrists. So you have to reload it by hitting hitting the bottom of the gun. Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit temperamental. It's not reloading every single time I press it. And you're dead. So this game's awesome man, you've got a reload on the bottom, you've got your trigger, you've got a grenade button here as well. And he didn't use the single grenade button once. So that was actually really fun to play, um, it's just really exhausting on your fingers and on your wrist as well, but Aliens Armageddon, that is a fun game, yes mate. It's time for some two player Mario Kart. You Go betray on. me for fucking jeans! <laughs> goes into first place. It's not always good to be first place on the old Mario Kart games though. You get done by every item going. Did you ever doubt that Gazlov Games would be anything but first? I didn't think so. Check out my little photo. Oh. This is funny, select, select a decent one this time. It's really hard to turn a wheel and actually stop it. It's not turning at all this time. Oh, quick! <laughs>
crap. Oh, that's a sterling crab. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh. He wants that DK. He's grabbed his ass. I think DK is probably one of the heavier ones, but the hard ones, what the hard ones. It's a fair it's grab. A hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. That's quite a good grab. Oh, he's changing it up. Too far back. Rubbish. And he's out. Not today. No win. What a smashing boys day out we've had. It's absolutely incredible. But before we went and sunk some brews and enjoyed the evening, we had to check out some retro games and some of Freud's finest. Time to check out Play Nation games. Yes, mate. Ah, oh, the retro games. This place, Play Nation games in Croydon. They have got all the retro stuff, all these SNES carts, all different kinds, different regions. We've got the Nintendo 64. Check out those games, I've probably got most of them. You've got stuff in box as well, absolutely incredible. You've got some of the old school NES Nintendo carts. Some in box, some as loose carts, but you've got a whole variety there. We've got some Game Boy, we've got some real retros, we've got some Atari games in here as well. Quite a lot of those are in boxes, which is pretty decent as well. We've got the Sagas, check out those Mega Drive games. I really wanted to just get in through the glass cabinet and have a real go through them. But actually, we wanted to go out for a beer after a hard day. I had to check out the PS1 games before we moved on. They have got absolutely loads in this place. They are so, so, so cool. Again, just had a little flick through them all. I'm gonna have to go down again and properly shop, properly pick up some new games. Look at this guy, 250 quid, the most expensive PS1 game I've ever seen. And then 140 for Suikoden 2 as well. Wow, unbelievable. Check out these box Dreamcast games. I'm surprised I didn't buy half of them. I had to resist. I've got a lot of games. We've got some great GameCube ones there as well. I've got most of those. I did want Skies of Arcadia. Um, I really did want that. That was tempting. We've got the consoles here as well. Absolutely incredible. All the Segas. We've got some Nintendos. Look at that original Master System. We've got the Saturn games box. A small selection of those, but they've got some awesome Dreamcast ones. Quite a lot of the cases are fair condition as well. Um, I've got a small Dreamcast collection. I'm wanting to play mine rather than pick up new games, it has to be said. They've got some greats there. Just look at the size of that shelving. That takes me back in time, guys. Oh, and then something for you pop fans as well. They've got a great selection of these things. It is absolutely amazing. Play Nation games, guys. Yes, mate.